Hey, uh, what's going on, guys? I'm just doing this little review on here because I didn't see much video, like at all, any videos on this car. Um, this is basically to tell you people that are wanting a cheap RC car that is reliable and that actually drives good and works very good. It would be this one. Um, got it off Amazon for I don't even know how long, <laughs> how much. Um, I've had it for a few months, and it honestly, nothing's give out on me. Not the motor, not the speed controller, like absolutely, absolutely nothing. Um, only things that's happened to it is my battery <laughs> blew up due to this dog. My tire, that it did look like this, but now it's, you know, that was also due to my dog. And this, I did, because um, the body ripped up, and then it looked kind of funky, so I kind of, like, done it to both sides and then put tape on it just for the fun of it. Um, I also did it to help keep water out of it whenever I'm driving in the, in the rain, which works. Um, as you can see, I bought a new battery. I bought an adapter. Here, I'll, well, I don't need to unplug it. So basically, I have an adapter that goes from the standard plug that you'll see on Amazon or whatever to JST. Now, for you all, I would suggest buying this adapter and then buying a battery that goes to this adapter because JST batteries are so much easier to find. You won't find um, a Tiama, whatever it's called, for this motor, uh, for any of it, unless you like... You just need to buy an adapter, solder a new one on or something. What I did is I just bought an adapter from one to the other. As you can see, it's not, you know, the one that come with it. And then I bought a different battery as well. Because, like I said, the one before blew up anyways. This one is a 1100 milliamp um, 2S LiPo. And it runs great on here. Even though the one that comes with it is like an 850 this really it honestly runs great with you know the 2s lipo even though it's an 1100 milliamp um literally nothing has broke on this not a single thing i've jumped it off my porch i've ran it through water i've ran it through deep puddles left it and then like it kept going i have drove it through puddles to the point to where like everything filled up with water um, and the most water damage that's even happened to it is the sticky tape that sticks this thing down, um, is no longer sticky. <laughs> I just put tape underneath of it and it's stuck in there now. That's legit the only water damage, um, that I've had on this car. This car is genuinely a really good car that I plan on keeping around for a good little bit. Um... For specs wise, this is a I think eight. Mm, can't remember. It's a if it's a three fifty or a three seventy. I'm or uh, I I I'm not for sure exactly uh, what it is. I think it's either like a three eighty or something like that. Brushed motor. Um, the motor the battery that come with it was obviously the little TMI whatever it is connector battery. It's a two cell, 850, and I replaced it with a 1100 milliamp, uh, 7.4 volt 2S LiPo with uh, the JST connector plug. Um, controller wise, it's been a good controller. Nothing on it is broke on it. Uh, I took the foam off of it. That's what I kind of used. <laughs> I have new tires um, coming. But yeah, I, that's what I use to uh, make a spare, which honestly handles great <laughs> for it to be a stupid little spare that's made off of the foam of the or the foam of the controller. It is freaking great. Um, controller wise, it is great. I mean, it's not the fanciest one, but it feels really good and it works good. Um. It, it really is good all around. Um, charger-wise, where'd I lay that charger? 
This is the charger that come with my new battery, but the other one looks pretty much the exact same. It's just the USB with, you know, the connector on there. Uh, it's got that middle bar in there to help, you know, flatten things out. I can't remember the exact word, but um, balance, that's what it is. The third one is balanced, whatever. And for you all that's actually looking for a new battery, how you can tell for sure if it's a 2S is you see three cords there. Subtract one, and that's how many cells it has. Because the, always there's one that's a balancer one that helps balance it. Um, I'll flick it on real quick. This is with the 1100 milliamp as well, which gives it a little bit more kick. If you know what I mean. Up, I flicked it on. Controller first, then that. It does have the headlights on it, which are LED lights. Um... <laughs> Here, let me see if I can pick that up and then hit the gas at the same time. Freak, I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Here, I'm going to, like, pick it up. <laughs> All right. Hold it down. My arm. And then... You know what? I'm just going to put it on the floor. Excuse my messier uh, floor, but... Yeah, so... It's got proportional steering. As you can see, like, it barely pull it. Barely turns. Pull it even more, it goes... It obviously goes faster on concrete or whatever, but the servo is somewhat fast. And then backward, forward, as you can see, great dog, uh, a tractor there. You see barely, I'm a barely turn, okay, full turn, barely turn. And then obviously barely push backward, barely goes backward, barely push forward, barely goes forward. And then obviously mash it that way and mash it this way. Um, same kind of thing. Um, my battery just died, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I was running it today and didn't charge up the battery, so my battery died, but that's completely fine um this comes with extra little things on it where you can move it and adjust the height of it um that's what i did uh <laughs> i basically lifted it it's not technically the best whenever you lift it it's not technically the best for jumping at that point because whenever you um jump it you kind of want it to like if it's too big of a jump to slam on the chassis not all on the springs whenever i had it now it doesn't slam on the chassis no more it slams on the springs which can break them break all out of crap on it that's not happened to me yet and i have jumped it with this just not off very big things um don't mind you know the coke in the plate there eating later um long story short guys this all around is just you know a good car i mean if you buy a battery that is higher voltage, like 1100 milliamp there, well, not volts, but you know what I mean. Um, with me, with this, it I needed a way to cool my motor down and not to put as much power to the motor. So I re plugged in my headlights and put like a little blower on it. But other than that, other than it getting hotter than me personally, I would like. Um, it getting hot in general doesn't get that hot, but it gets too hot for my pers like personal taste. Um, it's it's good. It it really is good. Um, let's see if I can find the actual charger to it. I don't think um, around uh, over here somewhere, but yeah. Um, it does. The shocks on it aren't like oil field they're more like springs with um i don't know if you all can see that maybe i can put it more into the light they're like focus they're like springs with like a slider in it not saying that these aren't good they're good enough for what it's supposed to be done with is just you know driving and stuff like that they're good for that 
but I would not, you know, throw it off of a building. That's for sure. Would not throw it off of a building. Um, there's not much more I can say about it. I just wanted to put this video out to not scare away people from buying this product because the product isn't bad. Is it the best thing ever? Is it like a Traxxas Rustler? No. But it's it's really not the worst thing I think I've ever seen. Like, it's really good. I mean, for what you're... I mean, like I said, you get what you pay for. So that being said, you know, shocks and crap. But it's it's really a good car. It, it really is a good car. And I would not fault it for anything. I mean... Like I said, the only things that broke uh, broke on it is the tire and the battery, and both of those wasn't even the car or the tire and the battery. Both of those wasn't even the car's fault. It was this stupid guy's fault. Um, so if you got a car, you know, don't leave it on the floor. You know, your dumb dog will get it. I'm sorry if I keep getting it out of shot. I keep looking at the car, and not the camera. I'm sorry about that. I'm not used to doing this, as you guys know. If you all look at the rest of my channel, I'm used to you know. Gaming, streaming, whatever, that crap. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a good car. And I would recommend it. In my experience, it has been great. I mean, <laughs> like I said, it they don't lie when they said it's water resistant. Like I said, I drove this through a really, really, really deep little... Um, pond like thing and like to the point where it kind of sunk and like when it was just spinning wheels in it right it was just floating and it still drives like <laughs> all i did was just blow dry it off get all the water off of it and even then even whenever i pulled it out of it it kept driving but i mean it's always safe just to blow dry it off um it, it really is just a good it's an all-around good car i don't know how much more to express it it's just it is all around a good car and i hope this video um helped you some of you might have different opinions about it but for me it's been good i mean it's not the fastest thing i'll tell you that for sure it's not fast it's not the fastest thing i think top speed i've got it to is like 25 something like that around 20 25 um it's just, it's just been a good car for me. Um, yeah. Hope this video helped you all. Peace out.